Good lord, look at the fluctuation on those waves, man. It's not even raining. How does that even happen? Crap. Oh man, look at all the clouds. <laughs> Sucks that it just became daytime because now it's going to get all constructed by those nasty clouds over there. On what might be my favorite island in this whole game, as a matter of fact. Hey. Look, Argon, do you see it? What has happened to this place? And why did a storm roll in and within a few seconds? What the hell, man? Oh, Great Fish Island. God, when I look at this place, it just... It's one of those places that makes me, like, wonder what it looked like before... Well, before this happened. This catastrophe, whatever happened here. I know we had precious little time, but never suspect, suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Damn it. Oh, there are gone! What? Who the hell is that fine from the distance? Oh, it's Quill! Oh, hey, dude. How do you even know to find me here? Holy crap. Mm, yeah, pinky keen senses. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spear, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Really? Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of that asshole in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? Uh... Narnia? I don't know. On the island where you were born. On outset. What? Well, I guess if he's safe there. Yet even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Argon. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them to take this either. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. But they suck too much. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. Seems logical. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. And all of a sudden now, the rest of the sea is going to boast dark clouds and rain just because we visited this damn island. He called this island Cursed. He also called it a dump. Oh, nice camera shot. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Why would I stay here? Why would I ever want to stay here longer than I need to? It's not like I'm going to build a vacation home here or something. Looks like someone already tried to do that and it got destroyed. So Jaboon has survived! The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. Probably from the putrid odor of Ganon's face. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Sounds like a mighty fine idea. Considering that's exactly what the postman just told us. Look at you taking credit for all that. Alright, so... Yeah, like I said, it's kind of just like... This island is so... Ominous, and... I don't know, it just makes me wonder, like, what exactly this was like before. Like, was this a bustling civilization before? Or was it just like another... Kind of desolate, not much here island? There's a beetle over there, so there must have been something here, I guess. You figure beetle would have left now, though. He's not going to get much patronage here. I don't know. It's still really cool though, because it's like, there's just so much, it's all destroyed and stuff, so it doesn't look like there's much to do, but there actually is quite a bit to do. Mostly not until later in the game, but uh, we can do some, oh hey, what's this? Hello, Korok. Hello, Swordsman, I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? I've come to plant the great Deku Tree's seed. But look, it's pink! Usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously when you plant them, but for some reason this one has withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow corks have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seed, all the forest trees from that year's seeds wither and fail to grow, tall and mighty with their big red text. What are we to do? If we are not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest will never spread and the great decker tree will slowly wither and die. That's kind of dark. Maybe if we could sprinkle water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then the sapling would be saved. But I'm not going to transplant that. That water is a wellspring of the great Decatrice life force. That's a good game. Swordsman, would you go to the forest haven and get some water that flows around the great Deku tree? Could you go and get some and sprinkle it on this poor forest tree? 
please, please help me. Can't you do it yourself, dude? Uh, now it's gotta be the handyman here. All right. Uh, so, like I said before, there's not too much to do here. Um, we'll come back for this Kor Korok later. That's a much later side quest. Well, I guess you could do it sooner rather than later. But if you look over here, um, it's actually kind of hard to tell now that I'm looking at it. But there is a ledge over there. It's very kind of just tucked away in the side of a mountain there. And um, what you're going to want to do is actually try and fly over to that ledge because there is a chest tucked way on the inside. And that is going to be a vital resource for you. If I know my Zelda, chests are always quite important. Oh. Alright. And um, I'm not totally sure if you can actually do this right now. You might need the upgraded magic meter in order to do it. But I seem to remember being able to fly all the way across with just my normal magic. My normal magic wasn't quite full, though. But it looks like we made it. Yeah, we made it with plenty to spare, even. Good lord. Alright. And if luck would have it, this should be. Oh, it's a piece of heart. Collect three so far. One more. Increase your life energy by one heart. Yeah, that'll put me up to six hearts, which should be seven, but I'm just stupid. Alright, now let's see if I can swim back to my boat without drowning. Wow, why is... Th <laughs> that was kind of scary. It was like lit up by lightning. Like the water was lit up by lightning, but not just like a flash of a second like it normally is. It was like lit up for like a several few second interval. By light it was weird. I don't know. Kind of ominous. Anyways, so now... Uh, um, it doesn't show destination on here. Well, first things first, I'm going to want to go ahead and find that stupid merman so I can get to the info on this island. Get the down low. And I definitely want the down low for this one. It's, it's kind of weird. The merman for this island, he's like out further into the ocean than most mermen are. I guess even he's kind of scared of the desolation or something. I don't want to get my bait out while well, I still can. Oh my hear that music? Yeah, that tells you that something serious is afoot. Tells you that we're not playing around anymore. This is the real deal. Holy feel. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want us to... Uh, dude, I've... <laughs> I've read that before. Just give me my great fish isle chart, man. Then I'll be out of your hair. Or out of your scales. Whatever you want me out of. Let's see here. You should come around these parts on nights when the just a wee bit of left half the moon is missing. That's when it appears, Fry. It? As in Pennywise the Dancing Clown? Hi, Georgie. Aren't you gonna say hello? God, that guy's creepy. Especially that one part where he like makes the balloon full of blood explode in the sink. Or where he's like, and down here. You float too! Anyway, so like the boat and the postman said, we're gonna have to head over to Windfall Island now to inquire with the pirates about what to do. Because we, if the pirates couldn't get into Jaboom's cave, what hope do we have with our tiny little ship here? I mean, sure, ours is a lot, is a lot more majestic than their clunky pirate ship, but I don't think that's gonna get as much of anywhere. Alright, yeah, so, Windfall is a little ways away, and there's one island on the way that I kind of want to stop at, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut there, I suppose. Unless something interesting happens on the way. Of course, you could debate that the fact that this music is playing is interesting in and of itself. I really like it. This brings me back to the halcyon days of when I used to play this as a kid, you know. I actually had a like, really good memory. I, I remember being, like, as a kid... I was stuck at this part for a long time because I remember like this perpetual night staying and like rain staying forever and ever and ever and it just wouldn't go away. I, I was being stupid I guess and it was just, it was kind of awesome though because I would like sit on the rug and in my pajamas in the morning and I would sit there and just sail the open seas. So it was just cool. Uh oh, we got a shark on our hands. That's okay, just jump then normally they won't hit you. In fact, if you don't move the control stick at all, generally they won't, like, even go for you. I mean, sometimes they still do, yeah, like you can see there. Fun fact, those fish are actually called, a uh, Georg. 
And I'm sure you can recognize that name from somewhere. If you don't, then uh, I pity you. Alright, so here is our merman. And let's see what this little island is. It looks kind of small, and I saw something that had to bear a resemblance to a tower. I don't know. Let's find out. What is my... My laptop is making funny noises. It's like honking at me. Okay, I'm gonna close it then. Ooh. Tingle Island! Oh no! Yup. Oh, if you looked at that tingle chart we got way back when. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, Fry. <laughs> Life lessons by via Merman. Good lord. Is this? Oh my god, yeah. So fork over some serious donuts for those. You're telling me about that. But that's not for a long time, so we won't have to worry about getting all that dough. Blue tooth. All Oh, yes. They float, Josie. They float. And when you're down here with me, you float! 